from Endolite, a breakthrough in prosthetic design and philosophy. The Echelon prosthetic foot has been developed by Blatchford, the world's most experienced manufacturer in prosthetics. Controlled by hydraulic pressure, the angle of the ankle duplicates a natural foot action. Hydraulically controlled ankle. It uses a carefully researched synthesis of cutting edge Formula One racing materials for lightness and durability, for resilience and flexion. Taken from nature, developed using biomimetics, the ankle flexion gives supreme adaptability. The first thing we did was ask ourselves, well, how, is the natural, how are the natural joints controlled? And we can see dynamically how the force is carried through the prosthesis. In a conventional prosthetic foot, the angle of the ankle remains in a neutral position, with the result that during swing phase, the toe effectively drags unless the prosthesis is raised abnormally to clear the ground. This leads to additional call on remaining muscles and abnormal stress on the skeletal joints which stress the body unnecessarily. We were actually removing one of these restrictions. It became clear that actually with the correct alignment we then get, would be able to facilitate this natural adaptive behaviour. We can see with this conventional foot that there is no adaptation of the foot to stay flat on the floor in a variety of sitting positions. The toe stays raised at a fixed angle to the leg. Under the same circumstances, Echelon adapts. As the foot stays flat, there is less strain on stump and muscles and a more stable platform for a subsequent rise and walk away. The adaptive quality of the hydraulics means that it can generate different forces at different angular positions. But the hydraulics... A conventional foot forces the leg to one position. This can be optimised for walking on the flat, but it would not adapt to an incline and will force an unnatural posture and so stress the rest of the body. We can see with this conventional foot that the body is swaying from the hip to maintain balance on this incline but the posture is straight with echelon. This translates into easier and stress-free walking on a variety of slopes. With the echelon foot it goes straight down and you, you don't unlock the knee and it's very safe. You can go up and down the hill easily, especially coming... Cycling, particularly when you're standing up and going up and down a hill, uh, yeah, not, you know, again, again, another dimension to it. It's just another thing that it's good for. Just general outdoor things. It's, uh... This is a quantum leap in quality. The mechanical design team and hydraulic design team are, are an extraordinary challenge in developing this foot because it's extraordinarily difficult to design a structure that mimics the way the natural body does but can also withstand repetitively all the impact loads that we see in the natural foot. So we want to go through a lot of tests but also that it will withstand um, the prolonged use in, in the field. And what we found with the hy hydraulics introducing the ankle is a very new way of understanding and analysing the biomechanics of feet. With your leg, it's, it affects everything right through your pelvis up to your back and your spine and through to your neck. It's very um, symmetrical and level. It was, it was very surprising that that came from, from just a foot. But actually having a limb that is more natural in the gait, so you're not having to adjust your gait to suit the limb. The limb's suiting it to you, if you, if you can imagine that you feel more comfortable, therefore you're more happy to do things within it. Um, as you've seen when we went uh, flying um, just a minute ago. Climbing up quite a steep hill on rough terrain, carrying you know, a substantial weight. You do that with a fixed ankle, it becomes very, very difficult. You really are having to think about putting one leg in front of the other and, and throwing yourself forward over the top of the limb. Whereas with the, this new leg, you, you, you're walking. As, as you would do normally. But the, the transition phase is almost going from a, a learned experience back to historical experience. So you, you were just to accommodate the, 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 the limbs that I had in the, in the past. With this, it was going back to not walking normally. Um, and it's no, nothing short of an epiphany, really. It's a concept where the solutions are inspired by nature directly. The echelon food actively manages the forces that are transmitted through to the socket and therefore the whole activity of walking over different environments becomes more efficient.
If you move from one ground to another, where you've got different angles and your body shape is different, um, you know, the echelon does you know, whatever area and what, what sort of ground you're on, it aligns itself perfectly to, you, to, you, to your body angle, your weight and where the alignment is. The outcome of having an adaptable system is that you no longer need to think about what kind of shoes you're wearing or even think about what environment you're walking or standing in because the hydraulics of the ankle simulates the adaptive qualities of the muscle and becomes altogether an axe of the ankle simulates the adaptive qualities of the muscle and becomes altogether a natural way of walking. It was unbelievably smooth really so I mean I was just like well happy with it. Do you know what I, I mean I don't really get in with the technical stuff but it was just, yeah, what I wanted.